poem for Flora. It goes like this, she says, she went to Sunday school and she heard about Nebuchadnezzar, who was king of the Jews. And she heard of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego in the fire. And then she heard of Sheba, Sheba who was black and comely. And she said, I want to be like that. <laughs> That is exactly how I felt as a little girl growing up the first time I read about Sojourner Truth, saying, ain't I a woman? I done plowed and planted and gathered in the bonds and worked as hard and hit as much as any man, and ain't I a woman? Little man in the back there said women ought not to have as much rights as women cause Christ want a woman. And I says to him, where did your Christ come from, mister? He come from God and he come from a woman. I grew up reciting Sojourner Truth and Fannie Lou Hamer and Maya Angelou. What you looking at me for? <laughs> Didn't come to stay, only came to say Happy Easter Day. I grew up understanding that Dorothy Height and Mary McLeod Bethune and Barbara Jordan and Fannie Lou Hamer and Cicely Tyson, who we saw on East Side, West Side with that cute little afro. <laughs> and so many other African-American women. I grew up knowing that they were a part of me and a bridge to where I was trying to get to. They were a bridge to this possibility of now that I live. I have carried you and all of them, in my heart, they were the seed of the free for me. And I have never forgotten that that is where I come from, and that is who I am. And so, through the spirit and power of all the black women and men who've come before me, I move forward every day trying to honor the calling from somebody bigger than I. So I am who I am and where I am, not because of my own doing, but because I am obedient to that call. And so I appreciate, I appreciate you being here to, to honor me tonight, but it really is not of my doing. I am just obedient to the call. And every one of us has a calling on our life, and it is up to us to listen and the listening comes not often as Moses in the burning bush, but comes from a feeling of being led in the direction of your greatest strength, honoring that which you know is for the ultimate good, like Sister Susan Taylor in the National Cares Program, and looking out for somebody else other than yourself. We have millions of black children who are suffering and who won't make it unless we help them to. There was a wonderful line that Mary McLeod Bethune used to say that said, the drums of Africa still beat in my heart and won't let me rest until every black boy and every black girl has had a chance to prove their worth. I thank you for honoring me here tonight. I will continue to work to prove their worth. Thank you.